Hello traders, hello traders, retail of the video is Visa stock, Ilio Wave Trader reveals two intrinsic values that help wave trading. Referential instrument that we are analyzing today is Visa stock, EPIC, V, V for Victor. Visa Incorporated belonging to the financial services sector. Today we want to talk about two intrinsic value that help wave a trading. I'm referring to the long term and short term equilibrium price level for Visa stock. What I've been saying for years to Elio Wave traders, you do not want to be the purest Elio Wave trader. You want to combine the Elio Wave trading with fundamental analysis, with Fibonacci, with market geometry, with a dynamic trend line, and so on. All right. So, referring to my uh, Elio Wave count, this is my first wave, second wave. A third wave, a fourth wave, and a fifth wave. We are now in the fifth wave. And the fifth wave, we thought that it will end here. It did not end. It continued to go up more. We need to pay attention to the equality, the principle of equality, talking about the magnitude and the length of the first wave, the equality between the first and the fifth wave. All right? Very, very important. All right? Now, the short-term equilibrium price level for a Visa stock. Now I need to remind trader that I have a formula that I use myself that I do not share with traders at all, that formula. But if you are TST trader and you are trading any stock that is listed uh, American stock or a stock that I can see on TradingView trading platform or TC2000 platform, I can calculate okay the short term and the, and the long term equilibrium price level for you for free. All right, if you are TSTW a trader, all right. So uh, those are my proprietary trading tools. So the short term equilibrium price level uh, is um, at uh, hold on please is uh, at um, bear with me please. Now this is, I'm just in my Fibonacci retracement. Hold on, please. Now the short-term equilibrium price level for uh, this stock right now is at 13671. This is the line that I draw here. 13671. Uh, that's uh, the, this line here, 13671. So we call it roughly 137. That's the short term equilibrium price level for Visa stock. If you are trading Visa stock, do not trade it blindly. Nowhere is the short term equilibrium price level. All right. What I say to traders, the short term equilibrium price level, if a new year has started, that's what we call it short term equilibrium price level. That's the first. Show that's the first equilibrium price level that we need to pay attention to if the price, if, if, if the price is near the short term equilibrium price level at the beginning of the year, we allow the month of January to close first and somewhere near, okay, uh, February, mid February, we come to the market and we are looking for trading opportunity on or near uh, a, a short term equilibrium price level. If the price is near it, or if the price is near a long-term equilibrium price level, but the short-term equilibrium price level is the first equilibrium price level that we are watching at the beginning of the year. Repeat: if if the price is near that short-term equilibrium price level. So let's go now to the beginning of this year, 2019. Uh, this is the beginning of 2019 here. All right. So did we? We, we, and then the beginning of February, all right, we want to know where is uh, what we, we wait for the, the month of uh, January to close. Is this the month of hold on, please? Is this the month of uh, January? That's it, that's the month of January is closed. Then on the beginning of uh, this, you see the Kennedy bar, <laughs> this is the beginning of February. Look at that. 
<laughs> beginning of February. So we the market will show it hand like we wait for the first wave. All right, then today I'm waiting for the second wave before they want to get into the trend. The first wave is hiding what is happening, it's likely to happen throughout the year. So traders, professional traders also are watching the month of uh, January can see bow. And now a lot of traders don't know about uh, short term and long term equilibrium price level. All right. I don't know about it. So here we are. So the, this is the month of February. Very interesting. Let's see whether we, on the daily chart we can see February. So down here it is. So January is finished here. What is the 15 uh, around me, the February? Let's see the candlestick bar. Somewhere near that zone of uh, February. Mid February 15. That's it. 15 is somewhere here. When my cursor knee on the edge of this brown line here. But before the 15, the price pulled back here. So there was a, so this in that zone today will be watching. Am I lost now? Am I this high here? Because it pulled back after on the daily chart. And then you retest it. Here it is. If you are the 15, and now we are. That's it. That's the candlestick kind of bar for 15. This one. Somewhere near near the 15, the price display this high and breaks above it and retest it here. That's that's very interesting because you see it was going down first. So the visa stock, very bullish stock, difficult to sell. If you are bearish trader, stay away from visa. All right. Find something else to sell. <laughs> All right, they're making so much money. Look at that. That's a gorgeous trade, isn't it? At me, February, above the short term equilibrium plus level. So as an India wave trader, you count your wave, all right? So you count your wave. So beginning of the year, you'll be saying, all right, we are now in the fourth wave. Yes or no? We talked about it before. It's there. I've done all this before. We say fourth wave. So we are expecting for that. We are saying for the Dow Jones, we are expecting a fifth wave, an orderly fifth wave. So this is orderly fifth wave. We are now in an orderly fifth wave. Will it be extended more? That's the question. Okay, now you see. Was very useful, isn't it? That short term equilibrium price level. All right. Now, this is a long term equilibrium price level in the zone 15957. So, we are combining, okay, proprietary trading tool with EDO way trading in this case. But I'm sharing with you because we are friends, yes or no? So, you can draw those two key levels on your chart. So, look at this one. Where, which month is this? In May. May usually people sell it. So they were buying from the February, they bought it. So in May, look at that. Pull back to retest what? <laughs> the long term equilibrium price level and they pull. Bye bye. All right. So for the year 2019, those two key levels are very important for us. Every year we have it. You see that? They are very important key level. So next year, again, this, this stock will have two equilibrium price level. I will not talk about it more because otherwise I will start revealing more. All right. I keep it to myself. So that's it. All right. So you may say to me, now you're in a fifth wave, George. If the price starts going down, you want to watch those levels because those are important key levels. It represents the intrinsic, technical intrinsic value, int or technical fair value for the stock. Talking about the short term and the long term equilibrium price level. You remember these uh, thing people say about return to the mean. You are looking for a better return to the mean. Use the short term and the long term equilibrium price level. Apart from the two intrinsic value that we are discussing today that help wave trading all right for the purpose uh, of helping trading that are following us as uh, in your wave traders okay i also place on the chart dynamic trend line. so this is we use also one can use also the dynamic trend line of the first wave so this first wave is very interesting this is what we call the irregular first wave so you may say George, i've been trading in your way for years i don't know about an irregular first wave yes go to www to for idiotwaves.com and be my guest, please. Okay, so this is an irregular first way, and it was very interesting because you go in a straight line, so that allows us to draw 
uh, this uh, dynamic trailer, this one here. The dynamic trailer here. Now again, if you look during the third wave that has started here, the price start going up. In fact, uh, I recorded a video. I think I'll post that video before this one. And I talked to traders how to combine dynamic trade lines and a wave trading. Have you watched that video? Or have you watched it only five minutes? Because I, I tried to check uh, the video retention time. Traders don't watch the video in full. Some traders do. <laughs> or are they watching it bit by bit? If that's the case, that's why. You watch five minutes today, tomorrow you come and probably watch another five minutes, and so on, so that's fine. <laughs> so now we have again, now during the third wave, you see, we draw, the price goes again in a straight line, allowing you to draw another dynamic trend line. But you can see that the price starts speeding here, the third wave starts speeding up more, that's also allowing you to draw another dynamic trend line here. So the current dynamic trend line that we must watch is this one here. You see, price breakable, this is what? Horse spot revision, intersection of the long-term equilibrium price level and that dynamic trend line. Very, very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. All right? So, if uh, the visa pull back below this uh, dynamic trend line and further resistance, that may start putting on our mind that probably the correction is starting, yes or no. But this is just uh, an expectation, okay? Just like an expectation. But we cannot ignore that because it's something we have observed. You can see that the fourth wave right below this dynamic trend line before going back above it. So now it goes back above it. If it comes back below it, that will signify another weakness. We will see. We are flow with the pride, looking for trading setup on or near a kilo. But something I do not want to forget, allow me to say, it does not mean what I'm about to say. I'm speaking to new traders. Traders have been following me, know that I always give this warning. It does not mean that what I'm about to say is exactly what's going to happen, especially if you are a visa director. So you do not waste your money Try to place me under surveillance, uh, paying uh, okay private investigators to find out who is this guy, saying that visa may calm down if the correction has started in this zone here. All right, it's Visa, it's a very bullish stock, making money all over the place from left to right. The future is bright for this stock. It's not for bearish traders. But I just want to point out to traders, okay, those are two trade lines. The first one that we draw through the, the first wave, and this one that is at the beginning of the third wave. If Visa one day all right, start displaying a corrective wave, a proper corrective wave, Remember those that zone, uh, that trend line that we draw for the first leg of the third wave and also for the first wave. That's all I want you to remember today. But do not forget that there are fundamental traders out there, the hedge funds are trading out there. They use all kinds of uh, fundamental analysis during their due diligence. But sometimes we just, we just uh, what, what am I saying? With this proprietary trading tool, talking about uh, short-term and long-term equilibrium price level, Sometimes we reduce our workload just using short-term and long-term equilibrium. I can assure you that the hedge fund enter the market in February, as they all, most of them will try to do, wait for February to close, uh, for January to close first. And then look where they enter the trade here. They enter the trade here. But look where they enter the trade. They enter the trade near, near the short-term equilibrium price level. Now. They may not know about the short-term equilibrium price level. This is what I meant by reducing our workload just by figuring out that formula after. I remember this is a true story. It happened to me when I started trading first with my obsession to understand. One time it happened to me for three days in a row. Should I say this? Maybe you will not believe it. I did not sleep. Now, that was a few years ago. Don't do that. Don't do that. I nearly killed myself, okay? <laughs> it's not good. Don't do that. Never do that. In fact, never do that. All right. Now, here you can look at that. This is, uh, again, uh, <laughs> did they buy here? Yes, they did. How? They pulled back. Yeah, yeah. They bought it here. And they bought it here. Do they know about the formula? No, they don't know. But they done other homework, other traders see other things. But here we are all together buying at the same place. Do I have an edge? Yes, I have an edge with my proprietary trading tool, the short term and 
the long term clinical practice. No? Here it is for visa. Just put it there. This is for 2019. The price may not come near this in a few years. It may continue to go up. Visa, you can see the trajectory is just up, 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 up. So don't, this is not to tell you, oh, go and sell a very bullish stock. That's stupid, all right? Unless you have a good reason to do so, technically and fundamentally, okay? So you continue to go vertically in a straight line, all right? Pushing in more, more, more deviation. In that case, we'll be talking about deviation from the dynamic trend line. So one thing that we do, like, you want me to talk about it also? So here it is, there was a deviation from this uh, dynamic trend line. So the depth of that deviation, talking about the prime moving away from that uh, dynamic trend line, here it is. What's, what, what's going on here? Uh, that's the one, that's the one. All right, okay. Okay, now let's go back to our chickens. All right. No moutons égaré. That's the way the French put it, all right? Let's go back to a normal topic, okay? All right. Now, <laughs> all right. So, the deviation that I'm talking about, okay? So, you see that the price deviated from that dynamic trend line, he achieved this lowest point after moving away from that dynamic trend line. That's the lowest point he has achieved. All right? With that, we measure that deviation, the depth of that deviation, and we use it to set a target. Now, there is a video that I will be posting at Day Pro Traders. Uh, I have the title here. I can mention it to you so you can note it down. When it's there, and I will be analyzing Apple stock. The title of that video, if I don't change it, I, I think I will keep it that way. Is about uh, how to combine volatility and dynamic trend line trading. How to combine volatility and dynamic trend line trading. I have not yet recorded that video, but when I finish to record it, I'll post it at Day Pro Traders YouTube channel. And we will be analyzing Apple stock. Apple stock is just deviating around a specific dynamic trend line. And with what I'm sharing with you here, you see that deviation here, or the depth of it. Right? Now we push it here to set a target. Now we are in uncharted territory. I hope, is it possible to, to, to push it down like we do for trading view for for TC2000, I like trading view for that because you can move it down and see it. But with uh, TC2000, we can't do it. Now, I'm a bit uh, like uh, somebody who always plug and play. Now, if you know how to do that, just let me know. Maybe because I didn't spend time to, to know everything about uh, TC2000 because I'm always ex obsessed about uh, simplifying things. <laughs> That's it. So there is a target there, all right? So... If it continues to go up, that target will show up. So there is a target there, just using that deviation from this uh, okay, dynamic trend line. So all in all, don't forget that if a correction has started, don't forget those two dynamic trend line here. Don't forget the short-term equilibrium price level at 13671, call it 137, and also the long-term equilibrium price level for Visa at 15957, call it 160. All right, that level and uh, the two dynamic trend line that I draw on the third wave, two dynamic trend line on the third wave, and just one here representing the first wave. Remember the zone between the two dynamic trend line. Do the same thing. Do not assume anything. There are more things that we can do. I will be recording another video about the visa stock. That video will be posted at day for today. That's why I have those lines here. We can project the angle between these two dynamic trend lines. Keep what you see here. That's what I start doing here. But okay, we leave that for another topic. Okay. So this we conclude our discussion today about visa stock. Do you use credit card? Do you use debit card? Or do you like money? All right, visa stock. Very bullish. Not for bearish traders. I repeat, not for bearish traders. Okay. Visa stock. In your way, a trader reveal the two intrinsic value that help wave trading. The two intrinsic value that we are talking about here 
how a short-term equilibrium price level and a long-term equilibrium price level, those are my own proprietary trading tools. I have a formula that I do not want to share with the public. But if you are a TSG trader, and you will know that, okay, that stock, I can see it on trading view or TC2000. You can see, George, I'm trading this. Would you mind to tell me the short-term and the long-term equilibrium price level? And then I will send it to you for free, okay? Thank you for watching. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, be sure to mark it down. If you think that uh, this is an essential tutorial, feel free to share with your friend on the social media, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Scoop It, and so on. All right. However, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, 24 In Your Wave, Digit 2, Digit 4, In Your Waves, in plural, YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell, this is very important, because anytime I record a new video, you too will send your notification and say, George, that stupid boy, has recorded a new video. Are you interested to watch it? This is not a spam. So you may say, I'm not interested to watch it at all. Oh, that's a topic I'm interested in. Or I do not have time to watch it now. I'll watch it another time. So in your own time, you decide when to watch it. So click on the notification bell and stay put. All right? Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW24 Traders talking about Visa Stroke. If your wave trader reveals two intrinsic value that help wave trading. Was it helpful to you? Let us know in the comment section. All right. Are you interested in all right, short term and long term equilibrium price level? Are you a TSTW, a trader? Happy training to you all, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.